Similar triangles are triangles that have the same angles. So for example, this angle up here is called angle A. It's equal to this angle over here in the second triangle, which I'm calling A prime. Also, angle B in this triangle equals angle B prime over in this triangle here. And of course, C must equal C prime. Well, the remaining angle of a triangle must be the same um, because the three angles sum to 180. Now, this red side of the small triangle is opposite angle A. The red side of the large triangle is opposite angle A prime. We say that this side, which is length 5, corresponds to this side here, which is length 10.87. We could look at the ratio of the two red sides. So I've actually taken this side, which is 5, and divided it by this side here, which is 10.87. So here we have a ratio of corresponding sides. We could do the same for the blue sides. We could take the blue side of the small triangle and divide it by the blue side of the larger triangle, 3.89 divided by 8.46. And finally, if we look at the green side, the small triangle and divided by the green side of the large triangle, we get the third ratio of corresponding sides. Uh, we will find that these three ratios are the same. In this case, I've set up the triangle so that the ratio is 0.46. So these two triangles are set up to be always similar, even as I change the angles here. We can see that. these values get updated but the ratios are always the same. So you can see that the sides of this triangle are 0.46 times the sides of the larger triangle. So we could say that this smaller triangle is a scaled down version of this larger triangle. So the smaller triangle is scaled down, uh, sorry the larger triangle is scaled down by a factor of 0.46 to get the smaller triangle. Of course, we could also talk about scaling up this small triangle to get the larger triangle. So, what is the scale factor for scaling up this small triangle? It's actually got by uh, turning this number upside down. So, we have 1 divided by 0.46. So, we find that the large triangle is got by scaling up the small triangle by a factor of 2.17. So if we multiply 2.17 by the sides of this small triangle, we will get the sides of this large triangle. We can use the fact that the ratios of corresponding sides of similar triangles are the same to find a missing side of one of the similar triangles. So if we want to find x, this side here, we have to find a side that corresponds to it in the second triangle. So we see that side x and this side here of length 3.4 are corresponding sides because both of them are opposite the same angle. This angle here is equal to this angle here. So we can take a ratio of both of these sides. We could either write x over 3.4 or we could write 3.4 over x as I've done here. Now we need to find a ratio of two sides that are known. So we could either use the two red sides or the two green sides. So I will use the two red sides. Now in the ratio of the two blue sides, I put the smaller blue side on top. That's 3.4. So in the ratio of the two red sides, I have to put the smaller red side on top. So I have to put 4.7 on top. So 4.7 divided by 10.21 equals 3.4 divided by x. And from this equation here, we can find x. Of course, we could also ha have used the uh, ratio of the green sides I could solve between this ratio and this ratio here to find x. So I will solve between, um, well I'll, I'll solve this equation here using these two ratios. So we have a single fraction on either side so we can cross multiply. So we can say that 4.7 multiplied by x is equal to 3.4 multiplied by 10.21. should be 10.21. So to find x, we multiply 3.4 by 
and then we divide by 4.7. So we get 7.39 to two decimal places.